Hey, good afternoon, teacher. Uh, we are going to present the LLB case study. Uh, these are the students who are part of my group. So for the first question, we have the conversation system. And the question is the following. How a company use its own products to enhance the total compensation for its employees? First, we have the AFLAG, the, the, they are the insurance company. They have, they use their own products and services on their employees, providing them a full, a full compensation system, a complete insurance for them and their family. One of them is the employee back life, a cancer pay, cancer policy, and as well the company subsidized accidents protection. All these insurance are a hundred percent fully covered for them or the families. For and the second point, the LL Bean company, we know that is a company who specializes on outdoor and hiking products. So one of the things they they give to their employees is the opportunity to use their products to to test them and to and after they use give them some feedbacks about what was their experience with the product and what they could get better. Also they encourage the employees to stay healthy um have some financial financial goals while they are developing their careers. If there are employees from the production area or to the marketing, human resources, sales area, any of them. And the last the last benefit they have is to offer some compensation and benefits using a balance score bar approach to performance metrics about how employees are doing their job and the best ones receive some products like merchandising, maybe some the of economic and economic compensation plan that is provide for, provided by the company. Hello, I'm Andrew Amartos and I will present the strengths and weaknesses of Aflax company. So, first of all, we have seen that there is an effective communication between the team. Um, in fact, the um, employees and managers uh, use uh, an efficient communication uh, and organization in the company and it's a master fact uh, in order to the company to be good. Secondly, um, they have a strong management team. Um, and loyal customer, which is really important too, because um, it makes sure the company will not run out of con consumers and they will not bankrupt because there will always people that will buy their products. Thirdly, um, they have a strong knowledge and skills at the manager level that enable them to perform their duties comprehensively. And finally, um, the company has uh, established a rewarding system um, for the employees uh, that leads to productivity and better performance and thereby motivating them to perform even better. And it's really important, um, this system for the employees because it increased their well-being in the center of the company and it leads uh, to have a better mindset, which is really important in a company in order to be really productive. Then about the weaknesses, um, the company face uh, inefficient work environment um, and this inefficient work uh, has the ability to reduce the utilization of good and servicing at EFLACT and no one likes to work in a bad environment so the company is trying to fix that um, in order to have better environment for its employees secondly um, the company is under debt and that can increase their cause and back group so they're trying to fix their cost and their debt in order to to be good on the market and finally um, 
they have a higher cost structure than the other one so their higher cost structure can be a bad point um, faced to their competitors but um, it positively uh, respond to the challenge to maintain the competitive challenge because they're well known on their topic. Then how the company respond to this factor from a total reward perspective? So like we said in the strength, they offer recognition to the employee with the rewarding system and with um, the promotion of employee of the month and it increased the mindset of the employees. Then, then they offer train uh, training um, to their employee and leadership training and career advancement in order to not be stuck at one job in the company and never evaluate because it can um, decrease the mind of the company and that's not what we want. We want a team that is very strong. And then, uh, thanks to the rewarding system explained um, earlier, they improve their service levels and offer opportunities in the organization, like I said before, with their career investment. Um, hi, I'm Stephanie Malgar, and I'm going to talk about point number three, um, the external opportunities and threats. So in opportunities, we have that the company has different categories, including um, children's clothing, fly fishing, warm clothing, sport wear, footwear, camping and walking equipment. Also another opportunity that we have is that the company have developed a good relationship with potential customers through showing nature in their products and uh, with social responsibility. Another important point is that, for example, in 1992, the company saw Japan as a potential market and began to establish commercial relations with them. And finally, we have the, the, the company decided to expand its physical stores and capitalize on the opportunity it presents on the internet, such as the case in 1996, where sales doubled. Regarding to threats, uh, we have that in 1990, um, at the time of the recession of the America economy, um, sales stagnated, and the productivity declined, and also the main the mailing list did not grow. So that was a problem. Um, another point that we have here is the significant turnover of senior management, and due to the rapidly changing external environment, um, the company had lost its way. And finally, the, business, the main business model had to be changed since they did not have good results in the 90s. So they had to recognize to improve competitiveness. So um, an emphasis was placed on human resources, which gave great results and developed operational tasks, such as compensation and benefits in a strategic process with measurable results. Thank you. Hi, teacher. My name is Jocelyn Mendieta. Um, talk about point number four. Example of traditional and non-traditional rewards and how they are used to meet organizational objectives. Some examples. Improve productivity, employee job satisfaction, retention, customer service, diversity and strategic objectives. Examples include those lists along with flexible spending account, paid vacation to its staff and general retired benefits. Now I talk about point number five. How the company align its benefit with its corporate values? Okay, I talk about a flag company. It's aligned its benefits with its corporate values by offering compensation to all the collaborators. Also, it's allocated that its employees are to be the focus with quality communication and the corporate values throughout the company. It's also provides employees excellent 
benefits while adding to company values. As a consequence, it results with a positive work environment which is very conductive to productivity. And it focuses on being the employer of choice and provides opportunities for management and training. Now, I talk about the, the LLB case. It responds to market condition, a commitment to its environment and offer a strong customer focus on deliver a, pro, a profitable result results while maintaining private ownership. It sets the standard for health and safety. Moreover, it believes in profit sharing and offer bonuses to all its employees. So it's encouraged to perform adding value to the organization. And also LL is commit to labor and human rights. So it offers not discriminatory practice and fair compensation and benefits. So, uh, continue with the exposition, I'm going to talk about the recommendations that we have to offer for the LLP case study and AFLAC. So we have provide five recommendations. The first one is we can give the expansion of opportunities like acquiring new skills, which will help employees to do a better job and to be more competitive. If we assure that employees have more skills, that means that they are going to do a better job and to be more competitive inside and maybe if they go to another enterprise that were with us. And the second recommendation we can give is to support employees who are, who are willing to do social services with benefits, with some benefits like day off or economic compensation plan if they reach some specific hours. And another one is to implement eco-friendly solutions that allow employees to save some money and encourage them to arrive to work using less polluted ways of transport like bicycles or public transport. So some solutions can be to have Sunday off or to have like a special bonus if they are willing to stop using their cars and arrive at their places uh, in an eco-friendly way. The four recommendations to create a fund where they can help their employees during crisis periods of time, like the one we are living now, like is this pandemic event. And the last recommendation we can provide is to create a program where the best employee will receive a economic incentive or the option to apply a different office where he wants because LL Bean has offices around the United States so he can go to another office and to share with them their knowledge and acquire new knowledge from them because the, the working system in one area is different from another area so they can complement each other's so this is all this is all the exposition we we have to give and thank you